Will Travis Kelsey and Andy Reid retire after this season? I'm going to go into that right now because Travis Kelsey played great, but the first half, not so much, right? The first half, Trav, uh, Travis Kelsey had one catch for one yard. He literally had one catch for one yard. So here's the thing. You go into the second half, you go, oh, the Chiefs better do something. They better do something because Travis Kelsey, for the Chiefs to win the game in the Super Bowl, even in the playoffs, Travis Kelsey has to show up. Now he shows up blocking, right? Blocking, catching passes every week. A little bit of a roller coaster ride. We talked about that with the Chiefs. They hit a little bump in the road and they had no identity. And I got to tell you, this game, they had no identity at the receiver position. Again, it, they, they won without a receiver identity. That's how good Patrick Mahomes is. That's how good Patrick Mahomes is. And when I look at this right now, Travis Kelsey, first half, obviously one catch, one yard. But the second half, nine catches. Well, this is total. Nine catches, 93 yards, no touchdowns. But he went from one yard to a total of 93 yards. Caught eight more passes, and at the end of the game was phenomenal. Catching passes, running down the sideline. Instead of running clear out of bounds, ran a guy over and went out of bounds. Set them up just, what, under the 10-yard line right around there for the game-winning drive. Uh, obviously, they went, you know, they were in overtime and all that. It's like, look, Travis Kelsey is one of those players. He doesn't give up. He doesn't quit. Was, was, you know, was Taylor Swift a distraction this season? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. But on the field, it's, it's, it's turned the game on. It's not, oh, you know, I'm thinking about Taylor Swift on the field. It's game time. My mouthpiece is in. I'm ready to ball. So, yeah, Taylor Swift could have been a little bit of a distraction here and there because they showed her on TV and people were talking about Taylor Swift. But at the end of the day, Taylor Swift brought butts in seats she brought more to the NFL. She brought more to the Kansas City Chiefs. And it didn't, it didn't hurt them, apparently. They won a Super Bowl, and there's all these critics. You know, critics are going to say, oh, it's fixed. I got news for you. Um, people gamble. Vegas does certain things. I'm sure there is conversation. I'm sure people have said things like, hey, if you fumble the ball, you know, if you fumble the ball, man, we'll give you a million dollars. I'm betting five million on the game here. You fumble the ball, you have five million. Any running back that doesn't play that much or any receiver that gets in and barely plays and he makes, you know, seven, eight hundred thousand a year. Maybe he's not, maybe he's making rookie minimum, maybe he's not making that much money, or he's on his way out. If you fumble the ball and give the team the other ball, like give the ball to the other team, guess what? You're gonna help the change of the game, right? People are like, oh, this is scripted fumbles. Pacheco fumbled the ball. Christian McCaffrey fumbled the ball. This game was so dynamic in so many ways, and people would tell you, oh, you know, it's scripted. The NFL is a problem. It's not. It's not scripted. It's not rigged. It's not, I'm, well, not coming from the NFL. It's not the NFL rigging the, the damn game every week. We're going to decide the Chiefs, Chiefs are going to win. No. You think they decided every year that Tom Brady was going to win? Or every year, you know what? Peyton Manning is going to win now every year. Or, you know, now we're going to give it to this guy. That's not what happens. Patrick Mahomes was up against the wall. His dad was just arrested as well. And he's still making plays, still making impact. And Travis Kelsey did his thing. Now, will he retire? I don't know if Travis Kelsey's ready to retire because he's a winner. His brother might not, not even be ready to retire. If you're watching this right now in the chat, will Travis Kelsey retire? Will Andy Reid retire? Put it in there, yes or no. I want to see what you guys think. The man is that good, that talented, and I don't think he's ready to retire. He's mentioned it. He can ride into the sunset, you know, with his wife, obviously. Or, sorry, girlfriend. I'm going to say that. Girlfriend, Taylor Swift. Soon to be wife, probably. Um, who knows? I don't think so. But pull it up for us, Howard. Uh, the best coach at this point has to be the best coach of all time. If you don't think this guy's the best coach of all time, uh, you know, I'm not too sure that people can say any different. Watching Andy Reid on the sideline call plays, and I got a clip for you to see. Travis Kelsey, obviously, Jumping all over him during a play. Boom. Grips him up. Grips him up. He's like, come on. Put, don't keep me in the game. Keep me in the game. Keep me in the game, coach. Keep me in the game. It's like, uh, thank you for CBS letting us use this clip. It's like, keep me in the game. Don't take me out. That was the play that Pacheco fumbled the ball. And look, this isn't made up fairy tale stuff. This is Travis Kelsey getting heated. Getting super heated. 
And so I'm not, you know, I, I hate to say that and advocate, you know, for that, but it's like Andy Reid is probably, arguably, the best coach of all time. Coaching for the Eagles was good. And now it's next level. And people are like, well, this is why, you know, if I, if I take a look at Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes is only good because, you know, he's got Andy Reid. But here's the thing. Patrick Mahomes, he gets rattled. We talk about that. And he gets on the field and he starts directing traffic. You see right here. Hey, you over here. <laughs> he's calling out play defense. He's calling out shifts. He's telling him it's cover one. And if you guys are watching right now, I call some defensive schemes here. If you're not so, so dialed in, bear with me if you are. Or we might learn a little bit today. So he's calling out defensive schemes saying, you know, the safeties are rolling up. Cover one, cover two. Oh, they're in cover three. He's calling out different plays. He's letting them know. Check, check, check. He's changing the runs from the opposite side. You know, switching it over. Let's not run it here. Let's run it here. The offense is making changes, and this is a coach on the field. And this isn't Aaron Rodgers. This isn't a dramatic thing. And people are like, well, you said Aaron Rodgers is a coach on the field. That's a problem. Yeah, it is a problem because they're running certain things through him as if he's a GM. This relationship, Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes is coach to player. Coach to quarterback. Not coach to coach. Not coach to GM. Coach to quarterback. And at times, it gets interesting. You see Travis Kelsey jumping all over him, you know, getting frustrated uh, with Andy Reid, getting pissed off. Like, come on, keep me in the game. Keep me in the game. Th this isn't something that's made up. This is high energy. They all want to win. He's keeping the game. I want to win this shit. He... This is nothing but, this is a lot of competition. He's very competitive, um, and they want to win the game. And Andy Reid, there's no better coach in National Football League right now than Andy Reid. Will he retire? Hopefully not. And Patrick Mahomes said very clearly, Patrick Mahomes said very clearly, we're not done. When they went to him and said, how do you feel right now? He said, it feels good, feels good. He said, we're not done, and we got a young team. You know how good that feels for the organization? You know how good that feels for the fans that are watching this game right now and, and all the fan base that are like the Kansas City Chiefs, and they're out there, oh, oh, oh. I was teaching my son yesterday what that means. And, they're, and, and you're watching, and you're like, Patrick Mahomes is here to stay for a long time. And he needs Travis Kelsey, his right-hand man, to come back. Taylor Swift had more fun this year than ever. Because she's a star, not going to take singing away from her. She's run that. She's a billionaire. But now, she's even more next level. She's brought her fans to football, but now football fans know more about her. Some hate it. Some love it. Some loved, it, loved having her out there. Some hated it. But at the end of the day, uh, the Kansas City Chiefs are for real. They're a big-time organization. They're a great team to watch. And to watch these two players Andy Reid, Travis Kelsey, will they retire? The only person that's leaning to retire right now, I think, would probably be Andy Reid. But I think if Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, an organization that got a young running back with Pacheco, they got, they're going to they're gonna get a receiver this offseason. They're going to get a star receiver. Think about that. If they get a star receiver on the team, it's lights out again. It's lights out again. And they play with injuries. They had offensive guard not even playing in a game. It's very, very difficult to watch these guys leave the game. I think they'll be back next season. Hey, guys, thanks for watching and tuning into the Brandon Mason Show. Please remember to like and subscribe. Until next time.